are you going? Where are you going? Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Yes. Oh, girl, he gave us his back. Hello, best friend. And oh, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hi. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. This is Sunday Fun Day, best friend. Basically, we are chillaxing, we are relaxing, and I spill pop culture tea every day, best friend. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who spills pop culture and who is always spilling the tea, make sure to hit that subscribe button, best friend. Best friend. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk because best friend, are you busy, girl? Listen, hang up on that fuck boy, girl. He don't want you. Okay, okay. Listen, we gotta talk, and I have some tea. So uh grab a snack and a drink, okay? Listen. So there's this artist. Her name is Sarah Bakba. I hope I said her name, her last name correctly. Um, she is she made a video on Instagram basically saying or alluding to the fact that she feels that Selena Gomez's love on is allegedly a direct copy of her work. Okay, so this, my friends, is getting a lot of attention, but maybe not the way that Sarah would have wanted. So let's let's take a look at both of their works. All right, best friends. So down here you have Sarah's work, and up here you have Selena's work. These are the frames that Sarah posted on her like five minute video talking about how she feels that Selena Gomez or her team allegedly copied her work. So she does mention that she did film a lot of the scenes in the same hotel, I think, that Selena did. So obviously it's going to have a similar feel. She also talks that this is not the first time that Selena Gomez allegedly does this. In 2018, she also did it. So she here says that a lot of the similarities are there, that the way that Selena's wearing white with a lot of girls the way that she is sitting here on the couch replicating the painting on the wall and then down below you have um her her people whatever then here you have in the same room sarah's dancer going you know dancing and then you have selena up here in the same room dancing then here you have a vintage camera on the same balcony and then here selena is with a you know a, a vintage camera so these are the the frames and the parts of the videos that she says you know that is a straight up copy a couple making out a couple making out um so let's talk about this okay best friend so this is sarah right and Sarah posted this video on her Instagram a couple days ago, and it has gotten so much backlash from Selena Gomez fans, obviously, that she had to turn off her comment section explaining... Turning off comments because Selena's fans are posting a lot of hateful things that have nothing to do with the video. And I don't really feel like being abused on this lovely Sunday. I really appreciate the love, the intellectual responses, the discourse, the conversations on inspiration versus IP infringement. I believe these conversations need to continue being had across the entertainment industry. Independent artists must protect at all costs. I got the insight I needed this weekend. Thank you. So this is one of the frames that she says that Selena Gomez is imitating art. And then in whatever short film she did, they are imitating art. So she considers this, you know, a copy. She also talks about this one. This was filmed in the same room as Selena Gomez filmed Love On of, you know, her character dancing in the same room and Selena Gomez's uh, Selena dancing in the same room. So she considers this a copy. She also mentioned this one where she has this beautiful actress sitting on a balcony and then Selena's having breakfast near a balcony. She considers this a uh, copy or inspiration. She also talked about phone mannerisms in this one, which, okay, girl. Then she talks about the same balcony because she filmed in this exact location of a vintage camera and a vintage camera, okay? So just wanted to give you guys kind of like a close-up. Then she also talks about this one where they are uh, in the exact same room wearing a head towel and a, what is this called? Like a bathing thingy, a shower thingy. Anyways, so she talks about this one as well. All right, best friend. So one thing I did want to say right before we continue and end this video, I pray that you guys don't send Sarah any hate. The reason for it is that Selena has always taught us to kill us, kill him with kindness. So we want to make sure that we treat everyone with respect. Does not mean we can have people walk all over us. Just means that, you know, we have to be polite, okay? Um, listen, Sarah herself said that she filmed in the same exact location. 
if Sarah doesn't want, and this is just my opinion, for moving forward, you know, she could take the, her legal action that she wants and, 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 you know, I guess the courts will decide. But what I suggest for Sarah moving forward is to film in a set that she creates and then demolishes so no one ever can uh, film in the same exact location. Actually, in this location is a very popular location. Uh, Britney Spears also took very iconic pictures for the Femme Fatale album. So as you can see, that's Selena and that's Queen Britney. Britney as well. All right, best friend. So just to end things, I, I will tell you this, okay? A lot of these frames, I believe, are from different projects. It's not the same project, right? The same project where she filmed this uh, short film or whatever it was is in the same location as Selena Gomez. So obviously there's going to be similarities. I don't know about phone mannerisms. I don't know about matching head towel and uh, bathrobe. I mean, dancing in a room. Like, I, I feel like, in my opinion, those are a little bit weak, okay? If it's in the same location, it's a dance song. She's going to dance. She's going to be sitting there with Sage meditating, right? So, I don't know, best friend. What do you guys think about this? I obviously, you know, if Sarah wants to take this to court, obviously let the courts decide. But, you know... I, I, I don't know, best friend. I mean, if it's filmed in the same location, there's going to be similarities because it's the same backdrop. So it's basically saying that, you know, they filmed in the same location. So therefore, it is, you know, a copy. Um, I don't ever want to take away from somebody's artistic, you know, um, intellect or anything like that. But if you film it in the same location, then there's obvious, there's there's a lot a greater chance that your content is going to have some, some same similarities, right? But what she is providing, in my opinion, okay, in my opinion, I don't think that is, um, that's enough to say that Selena Gomez copied you frame by frame. I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily see it in my opinion. Um, there is talk of um, alleged, you know, legal action being taken and everything like that. I say, listen, if you really in your heart feel like Selena Gomez copied you, then, you know, take it, take it legal, right? And see what happens, right? Because we can't tell people what to do. But in my opinion, this has nothing to do with Selena Gomez. If you if you film in the same location, then of course it's going to seem similar, right? But when she talks about like the phone, that the way that the guy picks up the phone and the way Selena picks up the phone, I listen. No shade to Sarah, but for me, it's like reaching, girl. It's like you are reaching in the in the freaking Everest. Okay, that's my opinion. <clears throat> So I don't know, best friend, you know, in these, these, okay, the, these situations you have to, you know, I report on it with, with respect because, you know, I never want to disrespect anybody and I never want to come off as, as mean. And, you know, she does talk about how, um, how Selena Gomez fans have attacked her allegedly in the past and, and, you know, she's received a lot of hate. So that's why I decided to take a different approach in this video and to, you know, tell you guys a little bit about her, you know, be as respectful as possible. But my respectful opinion is that, you know, if you film in the same place, there's always going to be some kind of similarities. But I don't think that Selena Gomez copied her. Um, I do think that, you know, she... She lives, you know, in a place where if you feel that something is wrong, girl, then, you know, take legal action. And then, you know, I, I guess the courts will decide. But, you know, I, I I, don't feel like it is. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. I really, and here's what I think. I don't think we should send her hate. I don't think that we should bombard her, her comment section. I feel like Sometimes that is what is expected. And when you receive a lot of hate, you also receive a lot of attention. So if this is just because she wants to protect her, 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 you know, her creative intellect and not really care about clout, then, you know, that shouldn't be an issue. So I definitely think that we should not send her hate. I definitely think if she's going to take the legal way, then she should definitely just handle it that way. But, you know, let's just kind of rise above. Let's not center hate. There's always going to be people out there who find, you know, similarities in other people's works. Um, but, you know, she's not in charge of, of that, you know, 
that location and and that location is obviously um uh worked on a lot britney spears shot her femme fatale um her femme fatale uh cover not her cover but some pictures for her femme fatale album in 2011 there so it is a frequently used location and i i and i think that you know that's kind of not enough you know in my opinion um but uh yeah you know your she sarah did not invent the phone or the or the uh, vintage camera you know sarah if she if, you know if you film in a location that you want it to be 100% um never used again or 100% unique then you should build it you know in a set and then you should just tear it down so nobody else uses it in my opinion but what do you guys think let me know in the comments again please let's not send sarah any hate and let them handle it legally if that is the case but what do you guys think let me know in the comments i would love to hear from you guys i'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you i hope you guys have a incredible sunday and i love you all very much Mwah. bye